Alright, what's going on? I want it's BRT to your peer, and today I'm playing Daisy Trinaris on the Arma 3 engine. Now, I had a lot of problems getting this to work because I had a lot of conflicting information and people not giving proper information as to how you need to install this. So, I wanted to make a tutorial video as to how you can actually install this. Now, it's not really functional. Um, this is a single player only, so you can't play online, which kind of defeats the point of playing Daisy. But I was interested in trying this out, so you can actually cheat and spawn yourself items. And the zombies and weapons also don't work properly, nor does the whole item system. So if you're expecting to play Hardcore Daisy, this won't actually properly work out. It's just more of trying it out. Also seem to have problems spawning anything in now, which I don't get. Right. Give myself a double barrel shotgun. Now, as you can already see, this causes issues because my arms are to my left. And they're spazzing out. So the weapons don't properly port over, but it does kind of work. The zombies, there are also zombies on the map. They don't seem to run at you properly as they do in Arma 2, which is kind of unfortunate. Now, I can actually make it daytime, which I will do. Utilities it was. So it's gonna look better. Um, the colors don't really look too great in my opinion. There was a form of lighting modification. As you can see, there's a zombie in the distance. So it's functional, but it doesn't really work too great. But you can have some fun trying it out. I will shoot this zombie, and then I will show you as to how you need to install this. If I can, that is. Reload system also does not seem to work yet. But I will show you now as to how you need to install this. Then some requirements. You're gonna need Arma 2 as well as Arma 2 Operation Arrowhead. Now if you play DayZ you should have these two already. Then you're gonna need Arma 3 and then two programs I'm gonna be using is DayZ Commander and WinRAR. You will most likely have these two as well. Then one thing you need to be sure of is that you are on the standard Arma 3 build and not the dev build. If you're on the dev build, you need to go to your Steam library and then properties and then betas and then opt out of all betas. This was causing me a lot of issues, so make sure you're on the standard Arma 3 version and not the dev build. Then you're going to need to download and install AIA or All in Arma. Now I have all the necessary links in a TXT file. All these links will be in the description. But the AIA link, if you click on that, it will automatically start downloading, so beware of that. Just open that up, and then you need to find your Arma 3 trajectory. Now, if you have it on Steam, you just need to go to your drive, then documents, then Steam, Steam apps, common, and then Arma 3. And then what you need to do is just drop the add all in Arma in there. Now, after you've done that, you need to copy over your DAISY folder. Now you need to make sure your DAISY is up to the right version. The version we are going to be using is the latest version. So the latest version is 1.7.6.1 so if you are on that you won't actually need DAISY Commander. But if you're not on the right version make sure you are on the right version and just install that. Then what you need to do is go to your Arma 2 Operation Arrowhead folder and then just copy the DAISY folder. Go back to your Arma 3 folder and then just paste the folder in there. And then what you need to do is actually download the single player DAISY file. This link will be in the description. Now there's going to be another link in the description which is going to be all the DAISY single player releases. These are all unofficial but there are variations of what kind of SP version you can play. There's even a breaking point SP version, so you can take a look at that and just play different versions. But this is going to be the latest standard DAISY version. And let's just go to that site and then download that file. It's also going to be a zip file. Right, so once it's finished downloading, just open that up as well. 
then click on this you're gonna have add-ons and daisy factions that trinaris that pbo this is your missions file the add-ons file is actually gonna have to be dropped in the add daisy file you just put in your rmf3 trajectory so anyways just open up your rmf3 trajectory open up the add daisy add-ons and then just paste these over here make sure you're pasting the ones in the add-ons over here and it will ask you to replace do that then go back and go to your chinaris.pbo and you need to put that in your missions not in mp missions but missions just paste that in there as well then we're nearly done the last thing we need to do is create a bad file which will launch all of this now i have a pastebin document which you can actually use you may have to change it up a little bit I will go into detail as to how you need to do that but just go to your desktop and then new txt file or text file you can call this whatever you want that doesn't really matter I'm gonna call it start daisy just open that up and then you can change that but first paste it in there now this you can keep the same since it's gonna be add daisy you're gonna run that so you know don't need to change this where it says your name here misspelled actually you should enter your profile name in my case it's Bart for you it might be something different but you should be able to figure out what your profile name is and then when it comes to your pass this is the default steam steam as path you will most likely not have to change it but in my case I have my steam gains on a different drive so I have to actually change it so in order for me to figure that out I just go to my arm of trajectory and click here and you can see e steam steam apps common arm of three which is a bit different from this so I'm just gonna paste that and then just do that three times make sure it's all right And then save this file as a bad file. It's currently a txt document, which won't do much. Just go here and type .bat. And it should be on your desktop. Mine always goes to the left. Now if you click on this, it will start the mod. So we're just going to click on this. And it's going to launch your arm of 3. Now in my case, it comes up with one error. Which doesn't seem to affect anything, but beware of that still have no idea what this means but don't think it matters now we are in the main menu one thing you should watch out for is I'm playing on full screen window whenever I go full screen it seems to crash the game more easily so you may want to select this now in order to play it you go to play and then scenarios now your mission is right here just go to in your case it should say play in my case I already played this so it says restart it does actually take a pretty long time to load so beware of that now when you first join in in my case I get these errors just close all and then it slowly loads in for me get another error close that and then I'm spawning at Kimenka now one thing as I said before you can't move around without a primary you can only move around in crouch mode but with this version you can actually just cheat by using radio commands so just use zero zero and then you have all these options skins utilities custom loadouts let's go to custom loadouts and take something this is a nice loadout with an M4 that's silenced with this weapon you can actually walk around so that reloading does not seem to work properly also the movement is kind of wonky in a way that sometimes it just keeps moving in the direction you've clicked even though you're not pressing the button anymore not sure what that's all about but you can somewhat play daisy though i would still advise you just play the normal version one other interesting thing you can actually do is uh, you can teleport yourself around the map So let's go to Cherno. And then just click and it will automatically teleport you to that location.
Now in this version there's also AI units which seem to be shooting at each other. There are some versions on the site I mentioned which don't have AI units, this one does. Zombies are also present, though sometimes they don't seem to load properly. Though I'm gonna make it daytime now. So go to utilities in a day, 9am. You can also spawn vehicles, although these seem to be armor 3 exclusive vehicles, which don't seem to work too well. But as I said, you can just have some fun trying this out. It doesn't really work too well, so don't be expecting to have a full on experience. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this somewhat. The items seem to be slowly loading in. And there's one zombie in the distance. But anyways, if you found this somewhat helpful and you enjoyed it, uh, subscribe. I post Arma 2 DayZ footage. So if you're interested in that, you should subscribe totally, right? Do that. Anyways, yeah, if you have some questions, also post them. I will try my best to answer them. I had a lot of problems getting it to work, so I would imagine other people have problems getting it to work as well. Yeah, that seems to be one of the AI units. Oh dear. I'm not sure as to whether or not they shoot at zombies. I think they only shoot at other players. No, they actually shoot at zombies as well. Interesting. So it does seem to work quite decently. Which is good, I guess. Apparently, I can recruit him even though he's dead. Steady body, high body, open survival ACU. Well, you got your, you got your beans, which is good. But yeah, anyways, that was it. Hope it was helpful, and I will be back soon.